Hi, all you hoot hoots and kittens, it's Owl and Pussycat. Meow! We have a great show for you today on Owl and Pussycat Tea. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious, Owl. I think I stayed up way too late last night listening to podcasts about Garfield again. Oh, I just didn't get my 16 hours in. I think I'll just have a, a bit of shut eye right here if that's okay. Well, it looks like Pussycat is taking a nap, so I'll take this opportunity to introduce this week's special segment called Owl's Garden! In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at bees. Now let's go into my garden to see what all the buzz is about. Who's that in the garden? Oh, have a look! It's Owl! G'day! Woohoo! Hello everyone and welcome to my garden. This week we'll be chatting about bees and where honey comes from. This here is my beehive. I'm hoping these critters will be on their best beehive ya. Before we start our exploration, please remember not to try this at home. Bees can sting you, but remember they're only trying to defend their home. If you leave them alone and admire them from afar, they'll be happy to go about their day. Bees are very hard working. They collect pollen and nectar from flowers and bring it back to the hive. Bees spread pollen amongst plants and this is called pollination. This smoke calms the bees down and is made to replicate the smell of a bushfire. This is beekeeper Frank. He's wearing a special beekeeping suit that is made specifically to protect the beekeeper and keep the bees safe too. Beneath this lid, there is a row of frames. These frames are made out of natural beeswax. Bees use this honeycomb pattern frame to attach their honey storage. There we have it, folks. Honey! Here are some of my mates, Cardi B, Liam Beeson and Justin Bieber, just to name a few. How do bees know where the best flowers are? Well, this is pretty nifty. They chat to each other using what some experts call the wiggle waggle dance. Their dance is extremely complex and uses vibrations and the direction of the sun as a guide. And here is what's inside the honeycomb. <gasps> yummy, yummy honey for my tummy. That's all for this week's segment. Back to the newsroom. Thank you for joining me in my garden this week. I hope you had fun. But until next time, be you later. Fish you tomorrow.